We're getting into summer now and people are trying to get out there. The weather is becoming better. It's never been a better time to go and travel. But you don't always have to go abroad. So if you consider to use the train, there is a lot you can do to save money. So let's talk about that. guys this is Miss Money Doctor and in this video we are going to talk about how to save on a train ticket um, before we start it though can you please subscribe if you are new here and also give me a thumbs up and like uh, the video because I'm more than sure that you're gonna get some value out of it Train tickets can be quite expensive, okay? The first thing that you need to consider is to, to try and look at the ticket in advance. This is a little bit of a no-brainer, but apparently if you look at uh, try to get the train ticket 12 weeks before you're traveling, so this is like, you know, if you really plan ahead, that apparently is the cheapest way to, uh, to travel and that's when you can find the best deals. The next thing is to kind of um, try and subscribe to these um, free alerts. So obviously you need to put in your, your filters and your criteria and the journey that you're looking for and they're going to send you the deals and when the tickets are going on sale or straight to your email box. So that is actually a good way to kind of um, you know get the best value if you, if you really know in advance that you're going to travel. If you just travel once a week, like on a public transport, it's more than more than sure that a daily ticket is going to be uh, the best money saver for you when, as far as the train ticket is concerned. But when you travel twice or three times, then there are some flexible season tickets. You can look into the different uh, season tickets when you, when you travel twice or three times a, a week. Then you can always, some people can even save hundreds on these with these season tickets. You don't always have to buy your whole ticket at once and uh, there are two different ways to understand this and, and these are valid points so think about it a lot of the times people just buy a return ticket so you know instead of buying a one-way ticket they buy the whole journey together which is obviously very convenient but uh, that would save a lot of money if they instead of one they would buy two tickets uh, so one to the destination and one back it could come up a little bit cheaper but even more, if you have a change uh, during your journey, very likely that instead of buying one ticket where you have a change as well, um, you can buy two tickets. So you might even stay in the same seat. Let's say if you want to go to London and uh, you need to travel through um, Leeds, let's say, then you can buy a ticket from your destination to Leeds and then from Leeds to London and uh, that could come up actually cheaper and a lot of the times you don't have to change seats so it's literally the same train. So it's something to consider, something a lot of people overlook. So um, it's quite good to uh, look into that. They are travel rail cards. So travel rail cards can be quite good for certain groups. Um, especially if you spend more than 90 pound a year on traveling on a train, then more than certain that you could save some money with a travel rail card. Different rail cards are out there. So you might have heard of uh, the old 60s rail cards, the, the senior rail cards, or the student rail cards, or 16, 17 uh, rail cards as well. So um, it's, it's worth to just kind of look into it because um, it's a one third of your ticket that you can actually save annually. So that, you know, you always need to look at your savings in an annual, period because one third out of an annual um, cost is a lot of money to save. Look into the rail cards, one third of your money could be saved that way. There are veteran rail cards as well. There's also two together rail cards when you travel with your family or friends uh, but you actually need to travel throughout the journey together. So um, you know uh, two people can travel on the same train and both uh, to the destination and back needs to be together in order to take advantage of this 
discount. Apart from that, when you travel on the train, it's always good to be aware of the refund policy because um, um, at times, if there is a disruption or cancellation on the rail and you, you couldn't actually travel with the train, you can actually get a refund if you decided not to travel with the train. Even if there was a massive delay, you can get a partial refund. So um, make sure that you check this out. And of course, if you needed to change your ticket before you traveled, you can also actually exchange your ticket, but there's like a 10 pound ad administration fee that you need to pay basically. So there are different ways that you can get your money back. So it's, it's nice to be aware of that thing. And yeah, that's it. So I just quickly jump back to tell you this and I hope you appreciate it. So make sure you give me a thumbs up and, and uh, comment below and tell me what else you would like to know about. I'd love to have you here. See you next time.